Pablo, we all know that creating content these days is becoming kind of a trend. Everyone is posting ideas, everyone is doing an Instagram story, on LinkedIn lately a lot, or sharing ideas, or reading a book and talking about that book. So in that sense, what tips you have for job seekers who are not used to creating content, but we all know that it's essential these days? I think content is your best friend if you're a job seeker, right? Mm -hmm. I mentor kids all the time. And if you are not sure what you want to do, or you're sure about what you want to do, the best thing that you can do is reach out to people to find out about their experience and how they've won and how they've lost and what they have learned. And the easiest way to do that is to start a YouTube channel, start a podcast, start a blog. And now when you're reaching out to people, you are reaching out to them in a way where it's not just, Hey, can I grab some coffee with you so I can pick your brain? It's, Hey, can I put you on display to everybody I know and show your genius? Mm -hmm. It's a very different ask. So if you are, if you are job seeking and you're in between things, or you are business developing or whatever you're, whatever you are trying to grow, build it into your, build it into content, right? Like I have been, I have been networking obsessively for the last 15 years just because I like doing it because this philanthropy thing just hit home for me and I just kept on doing it. And now I've been doing it at conferences and across the United States. And now I do it on the internet, right? Like we met just cause I reached out to, I was like, Hey man, what you're doing is interesting. I want to get to know you. Right. And now what are we doing? We're creating content, right? So if you can build, if you can build content creation into your relationship building, that is the greatest win that you can provide because then you are not just three things are happening. One, you are approaching people from a angle of adding value to their lives by displaying them to their audience and, and, and showcasing them. Two, you are building a content library of things that you will always be able to go back to and three, you can start to see, because you're able to go back to it, you can start to see the parallels. You're going to be able to see your growth. You're going to be able to see the evolution of your ideas. And you're going to be starting to see, even if, right, like even if you weren't an expert in HR and recruiting and whatnot, just by interviewing all these people and by sharing the stage with other people, right? Like the, the idea of being guilty by association is one of the oldest most effective, you know, tricks in the book, right? Everything from like big rock superstars to big business people have been created just because they were in the right, either on purpose or by mistake, they were in the right place at the right time, sharing a stage with somebody that lended them their credibility, right? For me, a big moment in my career, which is when I started really thinking about how valuable the stage was, was when I was working for this construction company, the Economic Development Council of Miami had this event about smart cities. And my CEO asked me to take his place, right? Like, I, I think he probably wasn't as comfortable on stage, or maybe he just wasn't sure what they were going to ask him about smart cities. But me as the green guy, I could go. When I show up with no expectations, I shared the stage with the head of Latin America for Cisco Systems and the head of the Smart Cities Initiative for the like, Economic World Bank or something like that. I didn't think twice about it. I was just like 32 year old Pablo get on the stage. I spew my knowledge. No big deal. Just talk about what I talked about. And when I came off that stage for the first time in my life, there was six people in line waiting to talk to me. Right? So the more, the more that you are seen with, you know, part of it was because I said something intelligent, I'm sure. But like part of it was just like, if this guy's on stage with these two people, he must therefore be important. Yes. Right? So Creating that content allows you to create that stage where you can share that guilty by association thing with people on a virtual stage that's fully scalable. It doesn't have to just be in a room where you're, where you're in front of a panel. Great. Those are great tips, Pablo. Thank you for sharing. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips for job seekers in terms of creating content, again, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for my final question with Pablo.